More reaction tonight to the murder of an off-duty Border Patrol agent by two illegals. Take a look at one of the angry tweets sent out by the National Border Patrol Council this week. Quote, Border Patrol agent Javier Vega murdered by two illegal aliens, victim of lax border enforcement, blood on the hands of Congress and the president. With me now, National Border Patrol Council VP Sean Moran. Good evening, Sean. Do you agree with that statement? Uh, yes, ma'am, I do. I, I wrote it, so it'd be kind of disingenuous if I, uh, if I disagreed. All right, so why do you say that blood should be, uh, is on the hands of the president and Congress? Well, it's not just this president, it's not just this Congress. We have not had solid border enforcement since President Eisenhower. Uh, we do not take border enforcement seriously in this country, and until we do, we're going to unfortunately see uh, incidents like this occur. Yeah, but we've never seen it this bad. I mean, have, have we? I don't remember hearing about you know gang bangers coming in and, and tens of thousands of people. I mean, this is something that we've never seen before. I don't care what president you want to focus on. Correct. I I, I think that's the problem, Judge. I think we don't hear about it, and people aren't aware that it's occurring. Uh, people know who Brian Terry is. He was killed uh, because weapons from this country were sent down to Mexico, and, uh, and criminals furious. brought them back here. Right. Yeah, fast and furious. But people have never heard, of, or very few people have heard of Robert Rosas and Luis Aguilar and, and other agents who have been killed in the line of duty. If this was a, a Border Patrol agent killed on the border of Israel or Iraq, everybody would know about well, it. But well, because you know it's what? happening Wherever here in America. Killed, it's a problem. But let me ask you this. It's got to be a source of tremendous frustration. I'm reading about this, and, and I'm a former DA. Uh, you know, we've got this one guy who was arrested four times for entering illegally gets a fine of 10 bucks a fine of 50 bucks a fine of 100 bucks and then the other guy deported twice I mean do you guys feel that what you're doing I mean how how how, how, how do you even get people to be a part of the Border Patrol if they make arrests and it's it's just a, a, a swinging door that's a good question, Judge. I, I don't know why anybody would want to be a Border Patrol agent right now. Uh, we're taking a pay cut. We do not have adequate manpower out in the field, uh, especially for backup units. And we have uh, these handcuffs that have been put on Border Patrol agents in terms of enforcement. We're not allowed to do the job. Neither party wants us to be effective. I can't remember the last administration that wanted us to be effective. Any type of immigration enforcement that we take has been curtailed by policy and by actions taken by both Congress, uh, the, the Border Patrol itself, Customs and Border Protection, and the president. But, but, but right now, I mean, in terms of what's going on now, I, I think that, would you agree that there is more reluctance and directives to exercise more discretion, that ICE isn't doing what they were doing 30 years ago? Judge, the, the problem is DHS, CBP, the Border Patrol, they have always had a, a history of backing down in the face of opposition, whether it be from the ACLU or Hispanic rights groups. It, it doesn't matter who it is. If they cry loud enough and long enough, we have backed down. We, we were very effective at making arrests of illegal aliens using our transportation system. People complained, special interest groups complained, the government of Mexico complained. And what do you know, the next thing is a new policy saying that we cannot go out and go after illegals that are using our transportation system unless we have specific actionable intelligence. Uh, you know, Sean, that is very frustrating, I'm sure. Uh, thank you for being with us this evening.